Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, welcome to 2024. It's amazing. Just a week ago, we were thinking about another countdown, and here there is no more countdown. It is always just a count. It's not about down, it's not about up, and I just wanted to wish you a very happy New Year, and uh, how was your New Year's? Uh, Actually, I know I have been quite absent because for the last uh, eight days, I was very much in bed and that's how I spent my Christmas and it was someone asked me, where are you going? And I said, hotel bed. So I hope you had a healthier um, time spending with Christmas and now a new year. Today, I want to talk about something that um, it's semantics in words and yet very much um, intentional. And it is, if you have ever made a resolution in your life and every year it's like, what's the resolution for the new year, right? I'm actually not a resolution person because I believe resolution means I am lacking something and I need to create a new resolution and stick by it. Um, And I like to change that. If you've ever made resolutions, did you know that most people, uh, approximately only 10 to 12% of folks who make resolutions keep their resolution, right? You know, The biggest one is about weight and getting healthier or a new resolution. It's always a new resolution because last year's didn't work and I need a new resolution. And uh, so here's the difference. I believe the difference between resolution and intention is resolution is like something negative. It's hardcore and it is like there is something wrong right here right now and i need to make a change so let's do something this year that actually works and the difference between resolution and intention is that resolution is more or less something you need to fix and intention is that it's of abundance it's Uh, You want to bring it into flow. You want to make it happen, which is more of a positive. So when we talk about that is resolutions focuses on the negative while intention focuses on the positive. So what is it that you intend to do? And we can... uh, chunk it and cut it into small pieces and and every single day set a new intention for the day and resolution spotlight what you lack that you need to do where intention highlights what you have and what you want to create in your life and resolutions are more of a strict And intentions are more of adaptability, harmony, and being in flow. So how do we do this? I would say clearly articulate. And what is it that you want to cultivate? Or what is it that you want to achieve? What is your intention? Every year, I come up with the word of the year. And I was looking and... Uh, on my papers and I just threw it away because I just set a new one. Every year I have a word of the year and I do my best to live by that word. Now, I have also drifted away from the word 
and that's because today i was thinking about it why and the why is because it was not right there in my forefront so this year i not only wrote it and it's on my calendar pot right here but i'm also going to put it right here on my computer so every time i look at the word it reminds me it's clearly setting the intention for me to live by my word right and you can choose any word word of the day word of the month word of the year so create an affirmation and that is around your intention and make sure it starts with an I am statement. I am whatever it is that you want to create and repeat it to yourself or make sure that your eyes get to see it all the time. So what you see with your eyes automatically captures not only with your conscious eyes, but your subconscious mind gets to record it and gets to see it over and over. As you know, our subconscious mind has absolutely no feelings and it will give you exactly what you ask for, right? So simply uh, simplify your intention to a one word mantra or a statement and then come back to your intention regularly. And it can be, I want to move up in my company. I want to become an author. I am worthy of my wildest dreams. And what is it that they say? Dream big. So when you dream big, it, the subconscious mind says, is this what you want? Is this what you want? I will give it to you. So go for the biggest dream that you have and make that a statement. And the intention can be, I intend to live with more compassion for myself and for others. And the affirmation is, I am capable of giving and receiving unconditional love. And your mantra is love. That's the word, love. It's giving and receiving unconditional love. I know you're gonna say there is no such thing, but your subconscious mind does not know the difference. So another one can be that your intention is, I intend to live in the moment without thinking about the past or the future. I want to live more in the present. So the affirmation is, I am present, living in the only moment that truly exists right here, right now. And your mantra, the word can be being present, presence. So do you see how it works? What it is that you want to create? What is the intention and what is the word? So you can begin your new year with a new intention for the day, the week, the month, and yes, the bigger picture, which is the big dream of the entire year. So the power truly is in setting your intention. And let's do this together. Uh, I was thinking of the word abundance love and being in flow and creating this name because I'm changing few things at my business and bringing more value, uh, membership, uh, bringing you more programs instead of sessions, bringing in more interviews that are more healthier for your benefits of informative educational and more informative and by creating these those are set intentions so every time I want to I can look back and say 
Am I on course with bringing value for my clients? Am I on course in not only speaking on my Heal Talk Tuesday, but did I give them the explanation? What is the difference between this and that? And did I give them values, techniques, or ways so they too can do, do it on their own in the privacy of their own home? You know, yesterday, um, one of the things that I love doing every year is on New Year's Eve, um, because I was not feeling up to par and I was home, mom was already asleep. So at the stroke of midnight, I go outside and I opened the door, created this way of my own system, right? And opened the door and look up into the sky and setting the intention of out with the old and then I came in closed the door I opened the door again being present love abundance harmony joy right and then went back inside and then I opened the door again and I said and now I bring all the abundance and the love and the prosperity from anew into the into me into the new year and then i have this small little ring and i rang the bell rang the bell and i was like happy new year happy new year and kept the ringing the bell as if you know the universe can hear it and i can hear it and of course my winston was hearing it and he was trying to bark and it's like quiet but it was so joyful and it's creating the intention, not only for myself, but you can create rituals and things like this that makes it absolutely amazing for you. And that's where abundance comes. And that's where love is, being present and creating things that work for you. And with that, I don't have a bell in here. Let me see, do I have a bell? I used to have a bell. I know I have a bell somewhere. So I don't have a bell right now, but let's do this. Yes, we can create a beautiful jingle. And with that, I want to say I look forward to serving you with more of information, inspiration, and healthier tips. So Look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.